actually going to be able to buy the Google Glasses sometime soon. Do you remember seeing those? You know, the info pops up right in front of your eyes on the screen. Uh, now, Google is holding a contest to see who's going to get the first ones. If you win, that's all you get is the chance to get those. You still have to pay. <laughs> $1,500. Jennifer Westhoven is here with more on those. I have to say, those don't look as weird and nerdy as I thought they would. They look pretty fashionable. You were thinking like Jordi LaForge on Star Trek, that guy? Yeah, well, not even that. I was kind of thinking like, I don't know, like I was looking mm. through a micro. Right. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, so not only are these coming out, but my favorite part is they're trying to get um, your creative juices going. They're having a contest. So if you want to be one of the first to sport one of these, you've got to, like, submit your creative ideas. More on that in a minute. And here's what Google is showing us. They're showing a little bit more about what you could do with them. Right there. Okay, Glass, take a picture. And then you could say, say, send it to grandma. Or you could say, search this restaurant for something. Uh, there's all kinds of different things. You can get directions. But here's the contest part. So they're saying, OK, you can't, it's not just paying $1,500. You have to tell us why you're great enough for us. Um, and they're saying you got to do it in 50 words or less. So it's like a whole tweeting contest, Robin. And you want to say what the impact would be as well. I even saw uh, Neil Patrick Harris started tweeting about what he would do. Uh, a rescue group in India was saying this is how we would use it to save cats. It's very interesting stuff. And you can oh, yeah. see what everybody else is putting in, too. Neat. Yeah. All right. So maybe you've heard about how French people get these, like, amazing vacations and they all go away for the entire summer. But an American CEO says, yeah, that's why it would be stupid to buy a Goodyear tire plant there because the crazy, these are all his quotes, not mine, unions spend too much time talking and not working. This is causing a huge uproar in France. People are so mad. A French official said that the CEO of Titan was insulting and showed an ignorance of France. He did also, by the way, Robin, say, but thank you for World War II. Literally. That was in <laughs> What? <his thing>. Yes. <laughs> He said, you know, our countries are friends. How dare you talk to us like this? This means war. I'm just going on and on. So. But, but did he actually say thank you for the help? Yeah, well, he was emphasizing how France and America have these deep relations and how the French people are deeply grateful for that. And yes, wow. here he is. This wow, he was offended. Yes. And offensive all at the same time. <laughs> all right, and we're getting our first look at a deadly gas explosion, and the survival stories are emerging from the rubble of that restaurant. And then, let's see, let's look at Mars, see how it's kind of red. It may not be as red as we first thought. This is Bob, a regular guy with an irregular heartbeat. The usual Bob? Not today. Bob has AFib, atrial fibrillation, not caused by a heart valve problem, a condition that puts him at greater risk for a stroke. Turn left. I don't think so. For years, Bob took warfarin and made a monthly trip to the clinic to get his blood tested. But not anymore. Bob's doctor recommended a different option, once a day Xarelto. Xarelto is the first and only once a day prescription blood thinner for patients with AFib not caused by a heart valve problem that doesn't require routine blood monitoring. Like warfarin, Xarelto is proven effective to reduce the risk of an AFib-related stroke. There is limited data on how these drugs compare when warfarin is well managed. No routine blood monitoring means Bob can spend his extra time however he likes. New Zealand. Xarelto is just one pill a day taken with the evening meal. And with no dietary restrictions, Bob can eat the healthy foods he likes. Do not stop taking Xarelto Rivaroxaban without talking to the doctor who prescribes it for you. Stopping may increase your risk of having a stroke. Get medical help right away if you develop any signs or symptoms of bleeding, like unusual bruising or tingling. You may have a higher risk of bleeding if you take Xarelto with aspirin products, NSAIDs, or blood thinners. Talk to your doctor before taking Xarelto if you currently have abnormal bleeding. Xarelto can cause bleeding, which can be serious and rarely may lead to death. You are likely to bruise more easily on Xarelto, and it may take longer for bleeding to stop. Tell your doctors you are taking Xarelto before any planned medical or dental procedures. Before starting Xarelto, tell your doctor about any conditions, such as kidney, liver, or bleeding problems. Ready to change your routine? Ask your doctor about once-a-day Xarelto. For more information, including cost support options, call 1-888-Xarelto or visit GoZarelto.com. 
Withdrawal is the last thing anyone should have to go through. Help change the story of addiction. Best two out of three. Share your story of recovery with the partnership at drugfree.org. Coffee smells so much better than it tastes. Hmm? What? Most fast food joints are the same way. Just saying. Rob's just proud because she's been promoting her pumpkin spice coffee all morning long, and now she's drinking it. <laughs> I'm a coffee bully. <laughs> She's making us drink her pumpkin spice coffee. Try it, try it, taste it. I've, I've had enough, as you can tell.